Yeah, that's when we bought the van. That was a good day, that, eh? It, it was, was quite really a happy cool. day, you see. We even got a bow around. Look at our little bow. <laughs> Big bow. <laughs> sure, yeah. Hey, that was a good day. I think um, that's what, you can see still the price on the van there. Look, oh, my gosh. We got it for a much better price, but I think we were very fortunate there. There's our ambulance, busy getting cleaned up and washed down. and uh, Prepared for the start of the sanding and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Uh, actually, I think they took that light off. I've got the light somewhere, I think. Put it on one of the chairs somewhere. Do you still have it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, those things were a mission to get off. Those, those yellow stickers. reflector things. Yes. Did we battle? Eventually, we actually had to sand it down just to get it all off. I can see you standing there, sanding and sanding and sanding. Oh, my word. Yeah, that's us cleaning the van at the back. Trying to get everything out and cleaned up. You can see the backboard was still on there behind the chairs. Ripping the rubbers off the floors. Yes. Lots of glue and, yeah, yeah it was hectic. That was hectic, eh? The wiring's laying there. Oh, that thing was raw. <laughs> Wow, it was raw. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, they were taking the roof out. <laughs> Shame, you were holding for dear love. It was that bloody aircon, wasn't it? It was that aircon that was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grumpy gut. I, that, that's a face because um, I, I didn't want to remove the aircon and I got that face back. That's what it was. After the ceiling was on top of my neck yeah, for a well, couple of minutes. And eventually she got away. We got the air gone out. Ah, oh, there's Lauren trying to get the rust out. That was a surprise. Once we started taking the roof out inside, we got that big surprise with all the rust. And it starts out with just sanding it down a little bit. And then it just got worse and worse. And next thing there was holes in the ceiling. Yeah. I think that's 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 when Rusty was born, wasn't it? That's how we got the name Rusty. Yep. There's Lauren. We started cleaning up and, and painting some of the the stairs or the the what's that? What do you call that? The steps. Um, trying to clean it up and break it, you know, make it all black again. Um, that's where we started taking the bumpers off. Um, for spraying, we started prepping all those things. We still have the old motor there. Um, yeah. Put the little winch on. That's our little winch. In case we get stuck somewhere, at least we can winch ourselves out. That was quite a mission to get on, but I got it on, eh? I got it on. And working. Um, yeah, it's not the, probably not the best of winches, but it'll There's do the job. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Nah, I think it'll do the job, eh? Yes. What a mission it was. Ah, there we go. Actually, this photo should, should be a bit further. But you can see the bumpers are sprayed there and the bull bar. We got the bull bar on, although the bull bar was in the way of the lats. of the lats. Consequently, we actually had that, we had it raised. We had it raised. Since so, then, yes. Yeah. Just to make it sort of street legal. It was. Because at that stage, yeah, it apparently wasn't very legal. Yeah. Which we found out afterwards, and that's when we changed us. Yeah, it was a bit low there as well, sure. But, in all goodness, oh, look, all the yellow tape is gone now. Ah, here's Lauren starting to spray her, her black bumpers. That was the start of my whole spraying. experience of <laughs> spraying the van. You loved it. Come now. I mean, look at you. You were like in your elements. <laughs> you had your machine there and the gun and you were going at it. Eh? Compressor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh. It's nearly, it was complete there, nearly complete, yes. Oh, this build from start to finish, we even sprayed the, the, the grill, the Mercedes grill there, sure. And the handles. Door handles. Yeah, that, yes, that was a mission to spray. We managed to get those done. And they don't look too bad, they actually came out quite nice. Yeah, they did. Oh, there was the inside little foot, footholds. It was at the passenger side, by the looks of it. Yeah, passenger door. Yeah. Those, actually, those came out very nicely. Although we probably need to give them a spray again after after a year. They came out very nicely until I missed um, the green paint on it one day. <laughs> did, you, did you actually respray it again? Or no, I haven't. <laughs> maybe we should just maybe re look at respraying those again, especially on the passenger side. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the driver side. That this is the driver side. It actually came out nicely as well. There you can see the back. Now we've taken the floors out and started cleaning up the holes and de-rusting a bit. And yes, it was a all the pop rivets from yo, that where thing the had, wood was. Eh? That thing had pop rivets like everywhere. Everywhere. There must have been at least a hundred, if not more. Yeah. That that was at the back. That was the back door. That panel at the back door. Yeah. That sort of seal there that put up. There you are, having fun at the bottom of the of the van. There. Oh, we're going over to spraying the van. Oh yes. Oh, here was Lauren's favorite. She she had fun. This this was just like this year. We had to literally cover everything and seal everything, and everything we sprayed was needed to be covered. And but you had fun spraying this van. I'm not gonna lie, you really had fun. You looked like it anyway. Although it was, I think it was a big job, eh? It was a couple of hour job, a couple of days. Yeah, this was a couple of days thing. And I mean, it, we, we we didn't actually have a place to spray it in. So we had to do it in a in the open air. We didn't have a garage or something we can actually park it in. But it, it came out so nicely. It really came out so nicely. Yeah, so oh, we were outdoors in the wind. Sometimes there was sand flying around. So we had to sand down the van again. Oh. And it was a huge job. It was a massive job. How many times did you sand that thing down? A lot. It was a lot, eh? It was after every coat, really. It was a thin was sand a down sand just to make down. sure everything sort of sticks. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever forget this. Even shame, even the old tires got a bit of spray there. Since since then we put new tires on, but you know, even the tires got sprayed. <laughs> well, I didn't actually care if I was spraying the tires or not because we were replacing them. So yeah. it really didn't mean anything. I wasn't going to cover tires with paper or tape or anything if we we're going to replace yeah. them. Yeah, well, they were a bit buggered anyway, so we didn't stress too much about that. Yeah, there you on top of the roof. There you can actually see it's starting to take it with the sun on it and it's starting to bake nicely. It's There we go. It's starting to come out so nicely. Oh, that looked so good. From a white ambulance to that day, the lights were really off there. and oh, Man, that was a lot of work. At that stage, I'd already fiberglassed the roof. Yeah, fiberglass. So we sealed all the holes and trying to make sure that we don't get water in. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, she came out. Look at that. It's taking shape. You really look nice there. I mean, sure. Even our green wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still here. Yeah, we still we still haven't raised the, the the actual bull bar. We did it. We did raise it afterwards though. Okay, then we start putting everything back together. Jerry cans are now. I managed to fit the jerry cans at the back so we can have some all the nice brackets yeah with the fancy brackets we got there we actually originally started with yellow jerry cans there and thank uh, god it didn't fit properly yeah <laughs> we got the black this is where we got rusty branded uh mate of mine did this for us thank you very much it, it came out really nice um still a few things we need to do we got our little army sticker in front there i think that looks so cool you can actually see the van sort of taking shape to what it is today, slowly but surely. There, yes. We didn't have the ladder on then, but I had the I had the plug side on there for a, a shore power. Yeah. Oh, here's the ladder. Here's the ladder. We sort of had to fabricate this thing ourselves. We couldn't find anybody that could actually fabricate us something to fit the ladder on the side, and we couldn't really fit it inside the van. So we ended up making a plan and doing it ourselves. And unfortunately, in Africa, you have to. Have sort of locks. Have to locks, yeah. And everything has to have locks. Otherwise, it will get stolen. But it, it worked, eh? It worked so nicely. I'm actually quite chuffed about that. That came out really, really nice. I checked the green there. That, it looks so lacquer there. I'm so chuffed about that. Max tracks. This was pretty cool. This was uh, front runner Max tracks that we sort of it maneuvered and. and it was another experience because yeah. we bought the Max tracks on Take a Lot, but we could not get the attachments for those exact Max tracks anywhere. So we had the to fittings, order yeah. the fittings, and we had to order these ones and work around fitting Getting it. Getting it fitted, yeah. Although we, we managed, eh? Look, eh? There we go. Nicely put on. Yeah, she's. 
and it looks lacquer. Those things helped. Those things helped a lot. <laughs> yes, we have gotten stuck since, and <laughs> they actually got us out of the sticky spot. There is a whole video of that coming later, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. We got stuck in the mud. Mm. Grassy mud things. But yeah, they actually came out really nice, and they, and they it fits on the side of the van there. And I like the huts as well. It's just easy, accessible, easy to get to. Uh, adding the side and back lights. Yes, this is where we started adding lights. So this is our side light by the sliding door, so we can have some light at night. Um, when we under a gazebo. Yeah. We actually did a whole... Oh, and at the back there, there's a one light there. And the other one's actually the... Reverse the, camera. The reverse cameras, yes. So we can see what we got at the back there. And it's also nice when we drive driving, you know, to see where we sit back. Uh, finishing touches inside. So Lauren got the floor in for us. She did such an amazing job there. It really came out nice. Um, we love our floor. Um, we did it right through, though. Um, we got this, the ceiling up. Um, that was actually not that difficult to put up. I'm not going to lie. No, it was it actually quite easy. Um, you and I worked nicely on that together. And that just really came out so nice. There you can actually see some of the wiring there. Okay, that one went very quick, but you can see the wiring on the one side. This is us testing the lights before actually, before we actually mounted everything on. We actually decided to just do a test to make sure that everything is working. You can see some of the wires still there. The it back. was very bright. There's a lot of wires here on the left hand side. But they're all um, connected individually. So as you walk in, you can have a light on and then. Pick one, which one do you want? Yeah, there's four lights. So there's yeah. one above the bed, one by the fridge, one by the sink. Yeah, and then lights. one in, in between the sink and the bed. Yeah. So wherever you are, you can choose where you want the lights. Yes. Which is really cool. I dig that, though, yeah. Because you don't, you could, it's not necessary to always run all the lights. No. So it's, it's nice. It's very to bright if they're all on. Yes. Uh, the back lights work nicely. Side lights, awesome. Now to start some of the, and this is where we started, actually started building the, the boxes. The, the boxes in the cupboards, yeah. I think with this, we close the boxes for the wheel arches. Um, I don't think I've got any photos of that in here, but yeah, they are in there. They actually came out quite nicely with the batteries going them. There's the whole cabinet for our fridge. The whole, ah, the fridge. Yes, yes. I love my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was such a cool fridge. There's a whole video about me and the fridge somewhere on the, on the YouTube channel where I really do dig that fridge, but it, I think it came out so nicely. And it's a nice upright bread. It's a nice big fridge, eh? This is um, as we made progress. Um, Lauren, of course, designed everything for us there, which is so nice because everything's got a place. I love that, that the fact that everything's got a place to go. You know, you, you can't just misplace things. The box on the right-hand side is where all our batteries are. Yes, that's the one with the batteries. And our inverter and all that kind of stuff. In the middle, we've got our pots and cutlery and the front there, Tupperwares yeah. and all that that's kind right. of stuff. And then on the left hand side, there's other boxes where, two boxes have, actually, yeah. two, where we can have the kids' food, uh, Milo and Coco. Uh -huh. And we got the drawers in there already, eh? Yeah. yeah. And the and drawers will have a. On the left hand side, is also where we're going to have our tow ropes and all that all kind of stuff. All the odds and ends that we need, yeah. Ah, uh, there we put the top on already. <sighs> it looks good, eh? Yeah. It really started to take shape. That's for our clothes now, basically. All the. Backs up, back in there will be for our clothes. We'll put our clothes on top there in the back. There is a, a control panel, a switch panel. Inside there would be the wiring for all the fuses and everything else that we've got in there. Um, it was quite a job as well. And I'd really like to thank my back. friend Neil from PCS Office Furniture for all the hard work that um, he allowed Brandon to do. Absolutely. Brandon yeah. spent Came hours so busy yeah. working. Um, on manufacturing the furniture for Rusty. Yeah. He was absolutely Cupboards. amazing. And After the whole, even Neil and them, I mean, without him, we I don't think we would have still been busy trying to build this. Thing. Yeah. So it just sped up everything up so nicely and we managed to get everything in and done. And um, we decided actually to leave the back sort of that wood look color because we liked it. But the rest, uh, we ended up spraying the nice, like, what was it, like a grayish, bluish, grayish. Yeah, color. it's supposed to be like a bleached sand kind of color. Yeah. But when you actually buy something according to paint swatches, it always changes. Mm. It's never what you actually order. 
but we love it. There's a few things you do. Oh, you were cutting open the holes there so the van can breathe a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a little bit, a little bit more of a finishing product there. You can see the beds on there already, the mattress, mattress. and the cupboards are in on top. Uh, they are closed. Everything it's still missing there. We we still had a few things missing there, but yeah, you can see the color coming through there. There's for our sink and everything else, um, which is obviously not in yet. Yeah, those, those are the, the water containers there and. Ah, there we go. Slowly getting there. That's slowly towards the finishing product. But we had our sink in, and we had uh, the microwave, and everything was already in by then. Eh? Okay, here comes the batteries. Oh, that's uh, Lauren was telling you earlier on about the batteries. The one box contained the batteries there. Um, yeah, the photo doesn't really do it justice. I think I've got one in there that's a little bit further away coming up. Um, but you can see the batteries in there. The inverter, and then we've got a cable through on the left hand side there that runs through to the front. So when we're driving, it actually it's a solenoid charger, so it actually charges from the, the alternator, from the car's alternator, which is so cool. But that's our battery battery bay, and we've got two little fans in there to suck out any gases or anything that needs to be, and keep it safe. So it doesn't overheat. Yeah, it has a little control panel, so um, just a. It uh, shows us what our battery life's at and battery power is at and amplitude we're pulling. There was ah yes, a little smart solar uh, the Victron. We had to we actually had a, a different one and then we ended up getting this one. It just the uh, MPPT just works so much better than the fridge draws else. more power than yeah. anticipated. So there's yeah. a twelve volt fridge though. Yeah. Ah, there's the back. Now this is already oh that was pretty quick. Sorry about that, but the back looks, yeah, everything is in at the back there. We've managed to pack everything and we've managed to make the bed, so it actually looks good. Here's the, from the side now. Like this. I've designed everything according to everything we needed to fit in there. So. I love the fact that we actually have a microwave and a, and a kettle in there. So we mean, sure, we, we, we use the microwave and kettle. Of course, when we, we're not, then. We tend to use the gas on the bottom right hand side is our gas stove, so we'll end up using the gas stove for that. No, we always use the gas stove. <laughs> Mostly, yes. But I mean for like the kettle and things like that. You know, if we plug into oh, shore no. we can use the kettle and things. But yeah, there you can see the cupboards are finished. Um the place for our cameras and all the little gadgets and things we need. Um the double door underneath the double door underneath the sink there, there'll be our water, two big water containers that we got there. One for fresh, one for grey. Um uh, it actually came out nicely. This is more or less the finishing product um, that we've got there. I love Rusty. Mm. I, I must be honest. I think that's with the work we put in. Absolutely it's... everything we need is there. Yeah. Ah, then we fit the motorcycles. There's our motorcycles. These are little companions when we park the van somewhere so that we got we jump on them and we'll go to the shops or we'll just go exploring. We need to go exploring this little thing of Lauren's little Crocs, some Crocs. Oh, awesome little bike, eh? awesome little scooter. That thing goes anywhere. Mine, yeah, I probably need to put different tires on it. <laughs> it might be a scooter, but we've seen a video of it going up Sani Pass. Yeah, yeah, believe it or not. So ah, there we got it on the bike rack, thanks to X Ramp. Um, what was his name? Greg. 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 Um. Extra, thanks guys. This this thing just really made it. It, it fits so nicely. Um, both our bikes fit on the van can handle it. Although I think since then we've actually raised the van and yes, we've we have. made the um, suspension stronger at the back to carry the bikes. Um, but it really does. Uh, it works like a bomb. Um, they fit on nicely. They're not. It's a. It's not a mission to get on. I think like any bikes, putting any bikes on it, it, it does take a bit of work. But once you got it on and you're going, you know, you're off. But yeah, there, there we go. That's basically our box covered on and locked in. We got locks for it as well. Being in Africa, we have to be. Otherwise, mm. it will get stolen. We had to put an extra number plate at the back there, so at least it could show. But I think there's Rusty in all her glory. Huh. That was quite a, quite a thing. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, it was been really an exciting van build. It was really, really good, I think. To more amazing times ahead. Yes. We are just so grateful for everything that we have. I think from yeah, like I said there, from the time we started the van build, it was just yeah, one thing upon the next. But we never gave up, eh? We just really never gave up gave up.
Wow. Please carry on watching. Like, support share, us. and subscribe. Yes. Thanks for the guys that do support us there. We really value your support and your time and effort. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome time. We'll chat to you again.